My name is Jeppe Hein. I'm from Denmark, uh, living in Berlin as a Danish artist with my family. The Copenhagen Art Festival invited me for more or less uh, three, four months ago to try to get involved with one of the spot called in Højbro Plads, which is one of a square within the middle of the city, which indicating somehow the five, six institutions which going together to do this festival. They needed uh, somehow a, a fixed point uh, in the middle of the city to uh, expose themselves, of course, also, but also somehow collect information and collect people in a way. Um, so they invited me to do an event there um, in, 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 in the terms of how I work with uh, several, obviously, several spaces, several squares, how you interact with people um, in this term. So I decided um, my interest in this project, you may say, is somehow uh, in a public square, what does public art mean? What did public art do? Uh, and which kind of form should it take on a square with Højbroplads? Højbroplads is a square which is quite in the center of Copenhagen. Uh, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of flow of each side of the square, uh, information for taxi stands and, and uh, a couple of hundred meters away there is a government building, uh, there's a really nice river really close to it, and then there's the, one of the main city squares on the main city uh, walkway with shops, but this uh, this uh, square is kind of a strange one. Uh, since many years, it hasn't been used for anything. Or almost there's a small cafe which only sells like beers and hot dogs and so on. The city, the, the square hasn't really been taken so uh, serious for many years. I think, and I think it's really nice to get involved in a square which somehow dead, somehow not really have a function, but it's actually extremely in the middle of everything uh, of Copenhagen. So we were discussing, me and my team in the studio, and of course with the, the several curators from, from uh, the festival, Kritis Kovar and Ulrike, which was on the project now, it's early on, but now Amanda. Um, how can we approach a project like this? I have earlier been doing a Circus Circus Hein, um, which was more like a, a references to an older artist called Alexander Calder, and how he, from the 19... 124 or 6 was doing a circus uh, in his apartment. So we took this concept up of circus and trying to involve certain artists, philosophers, writers, uh, architects and so on to do a, how do you say, a, a complete circus installation. So the piece about uh, the team look concept was uh, mainly trying to bring in, uh, for me, a lot of different energies on the square. What does a square mean to a city and what, does this be, what is the, how do you say, the use for a square in a way? And what I think is important for a square is, of course, the social aspect that it has kind of a life all the time. And, uh, and how can you bring in a concept? So the idea is that the artworks will work on several, several time frames uh, a day. Uh, and you will have different uh, asking performance and live music, lectures and stuff like that, which all will happen at the same time, uh, seven time periods of the day, these nine days. So I don't think I love it. It's my project. I think it's a project which I... Of course, I hold the string uh, in a way, in a dialogue, but I think a project like this with so many artists and so many have his own, how to say, own um, in a way, that it has to be things which you can't control and which meet each other, because all these things with different uh, objects and different performances, different things, things could be, and I will, will be uh, on this square these nine days. Community uh, is something you have, of course, in several places in the city, and I think. Uh, have several communities, of course, you will also have people sitting on a bench tree, people coming and doing things on the square. Uh, it can just open up for, for the community to using maybe the squares more, but it can bring us a completely another atmosphere in the city, not only at the square, but that will of course affect uh, the whole surrounding around, <clears throat> but also people will talk a lot about it, I think, and as you go there and see this concert and there, you see this funny artwork, and a new way of looking at art, I think that, I hope, that's also why uh, the, the, this this whole festival is called festival, is to open up for the dialogue. This uh, project can call I Love It or Tivoli, it's not like art exhibition, it's called something which is opening up for a happy dialogue. And I think I can bring in people uh, to, to get other, uh, other experiences with the art and, 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 and people who write and, uh, and so on. So I think I can bring in more, uh, more dialogue um, and contemporary design and contemporary way of thinking than uh, that you will meet. You don't have to go into a museum and pay for it. I think it creates a happy community in a way. So go there and experience it. And I hope um, uh, you will feel it.